Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us once again to another Aviary Birds & Co. video. Today's video is going to be a good one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to introduce these four new female zebra finches. And now we're also going to talk about our 2023 zebra finch pairs. But before we get into it, I do want to say if you guys enjoy our videos, if you guys are into Aviary Birds, finches, canaries, parakeets, things of that sort, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And then hit that like button to let us know that you guys enjoy these types of videos. And lastly, if you guys want more information about, about us, go ahead and check out our website, aviarybirdsandco.com. All right, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for, for joining us here. As mentioned before, here we have four new zebra finch females. So I had a couple males that were missing females. <clears throat> so I went ahead and I picked up these four from a local breeder. In the city next in the city next over to me uh, so i did pick up these three standard gray zebra finches and then this one uh chestnut i believe believe chestnut flanked white uh female so these three or actually all four of these um carry the chestnut um gene so these three standard ones are um <clears throat> carriers of that the chestnut gene so they are split to to chestnut and that is something that I, that I am trying to do here. So as we look into um, 2023, I do want to spread or diversify the types of genetics I have. So all of these four are going to be paired uh, for this upcoming uh, 2023 breeding season. And uh, as we get into it, um, I was very fortunate to pick up these four because these these four are from 2022. But as you can tell just by looking at them, they are almost at breeding age. So for me, uh, currently in December, end of December, uh, usually my breeding season doesn't start until about February. But I do breed them or I do pair them up all year round to get them get them to to kind of pair with each other. So here, as we get to take, take a look at to as we get into and take a look at our breeding pairs, this is the first one. So as you can see here, um, the female, which is this gray uh, kind of pied female, uh, she is a proven breeder. They have already uh, risen or raised some some babies for me, so I'm really excited excited for them. So um, here we have the like I said, the standard gray kind of pied female, and then the chestnut flanked white male. <clears throat> so this is my first pair. Um, like I said, they have raised clutches for me uh, this year. Uh, so they they remained uh, they remained paired and will both stay paired for 2023. Currently, they do have some eggs in there, uh, but our temperature is really really uh, cold right now. Uh, I know some people separate their pairs so they they don't consistently lay eggs, but I, I tend to pair mine year round and I just make sure I give them plenty of calcium. All right, so this one is actually one of the new ones that we saw in the beginning. So this is a new pickup that I just that I, that I just got. Uh, so I paired her with another uh, chestnut flanked white male. Uh, the male, he is inside. Uh, the day of filming this, uh, they've been paired for about two days already. So uh, the male is thinking about nesting. Um, I don't think they're going to nest. I don't believe she's going to be ready for another month or two. But uh, he is definitely ready. As you can see, his beak is bright red. He is in breeding condition. But like I said, I don't think they'll... they'll lay fertile eggs here for about another month maybe two months <clears throat> but for these guys most likely they're going to produce some uh, chestnuts and some standards like i said that female is is um split to to chestnut so some of their babies uh, will come out standard gray some of them babies will come out chestnut so really excited about that and um uh, this next pair here so you can see this is actually going to be my white uh, zebra zebra finch pair so this male here he's chestnut uh chestnut flanked white as you can see underneath his eye he does have that little black line that and plus his his chest he's a male so his chest is also has that coloration so he is chestnut split to white as but as you can look at the female the female does not have that black line underneath her eye so she is full white and uh, uh for the white white finches zebra finches at least uh, the only way you can tell the males from the females, they look exactly the same. Except when the males are in breeding condition, their beaks will turn red. So if you look at these two, you can see the male has that red uh, beak and the, fem the female has kind of that orange beak. If they were both 
solid white. Uh, the only re the the only differential will be that red beak. So I'm not too sure if this uh, male is split to white. Uh, fingers crossed that he is. That way they can produce uh, some white babies for me this year or this upcoming year. Uh, so here is my fourth pair. So the, here um, I have a black cheek male. So I just picked up this black cheek. I want to say about a month or two ago from a um, with some some local breeder show that were at a at an expo. So this this uh, black cheek male, he is actually uh, his genetics come from. Um, uh, they're not they're not English English finches, but they're they're uh, they, he does come with with size. So he's about um, almost twice as big as a standard uh, zebra finch. So for me, I don't want to specifically breed for size, but I don't want to add size to my genetics as well. So he is, like I said, a black cheek. So black cheek is a recessive gene. So whatever these this pair produces, they're all going to come out standard, uh, standard gray. But I do want to have some black cheek carriers. That way I can, I can pair and produce black cheeks in the future. So here's my second... Uh, black cheek pair so the male is also black cheek but the female is a penguin as you can see here she kind of looks like the penguin she's almost solid white up front with kind of like the the penguin head um so this is a brewing pair for me as well they've also um hatched out this year 2022 so my goal is to get some nice uh babies from them and then eventually pair their babies with the babies from the previous pair uh, that we both have uh, recessive black cheeks or black cheek carriers and hopefully produce some black cheeks um, in the future this is my sixth pair so the male in this in this one here is also um comes from big uh, big size so he, he is almost uh, double the size of the standard uh, zebra finch but you look at him he does carry a little bit more white uh, so I went ahead and I paired him with another chestnut flanked white female. So this is the female that I picked up from um, the local breeder here this week. So super excited. Hopefully they produce some nice, pretty looking babies. Like I said, most likely they'll come out um, standard gray. But uh, I'm not sure on his genetics, so we might get some chestnuts and we might get some pies from this pair. So super excited um, and really looking forward to see what comes up. I do have one more pair that I'm still waiting to set up their cage, but as soon as I set them up, I'll give you guys an updated video. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like, in, hit that like button, and check out our website, aviarybirdsandco.com. Catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.